The city of Dryden has passed its 2022 budget, and for the first time in a while, residents will see an increase in rates. As well, the city will be dipping into its reserves to pay for some expected costs, which came out of the decision to disband its police service in favor of the OPP. As Adam Riley explains, those costs were the subject of a tense discussion for some council members. 3.91%, that is how much more Dryden property owners will be paying in taxes this year following the passage of the city's 2022 budget. That increase will net the city $570,000, will help it counter a $1.1 million increase in operating costs without cutting services. It includes an estimated $1.7 million for uniform police disbandment costs, an estimated $372,000 for civilian police disbandment costs, a one-time $723,000 OPP startup cost and a one-time $416,000 OPP facility upgrade for the Highway 17 detachment. Those costs will be covered through various reserve funds, which didn't sit well with Councillor Shane McKinnon, who is a vocal opponent of the decision to disband the DPS. We're going to use uh, legacy money, which is in fact uh, uh, renamed from uh, the hydro um, proceeds that we had a number of years ago. We're going to exhaust our emergency reserve. We're going to leave uh, out of the uh, 400 and some thousand dollars and then we're going to leave $18,000. McKinnon dubbed the budget the police transition budget of 2022, noting historically when budgets are increased they rarely decrease thereafter and called the 3.9 percent increase the legacy of the transition. He also noted the decision for a water and sewer increase of 10 percent will leave the city in a rut of sorts. We're essentially putting us ourselves back into a position where we can't make any moves uh, financially um, on our own because now we've incurred uh, another debt. Some tense interactions came following McKinnon's assertion in his closing comments that 80% of residents supported the continuation of the DPS over the OPP, which raised the ire of fellow councillor Dave McKay. 87% was the number that was gleaned out of the first uh, costing study and that you can look that up if you'd like. Um, like yeah, but that has nothing to do with with uh, <clears throat> the outcome of the second uh, costing. So you made up the number. Just to be clear. Um, no, no, no. I, I, I don't want to argue with you about that, but you can well, go back and look. Don't put out numbers that you can't substantiate. Yeah. It's water under the bridge. The budget was passed with five councillors in favour and none opposed as McKinnon abstained from the vote. Adam Riley. TBT News.